good after FS Club. Welcome back to channel and welcome back to the FS News Wrap Up. Well, the end of another week is here and a brand new month. Do you think Farming Simulator 25 will be announced this month? I'm thinking it will be because, of course, we got FarmCon in almost exactly a month away. So I think that they're going to be actually ramping it up so they actually have something to showcase on FarmCon. Anyways, it's Sunday, so that means it's time for the FS News Wrap-Up. This video goes over all the big news we had this week in our favorite game, Farming Simulator. Well, today, we'll be going over a couple John Deere 9Rs and take an overhead look at the Millennial Farmer map. Have a lot to actually go over this Sunday. Question of the day. What new brand would you like to see in the new Farming Simulator? Let me know in the comment section below. Last week's wrap-up, we hit 437 likes, so we hit that 400. So a massive thank you to all of you guys. Let's just go big with this one. Let's go 500 likes on this video. So remember, before we get to news, make sure to hit the like button, smack that sub button, and ring that bell. Roll that intro. Let's get to this news. Okay, walking back and let's get right on into it. The first one is from 4D Modding. The Brogan One Axle Trailer Update. Textures are finally completed and it is in-game, should be started testing this week. The silage sides are non-standard to the real machine, but they are in the mod for extra functionality. This will be an all-platform trailer. Then the next piece of news, I don't know what it is, but last week it seemed like it was the week for John Deere's. First of all, Dense Modding. He makes some of the best, best John Deere's you have probably seen on the mod up, but most of them are only European ones. Well, he actually broke some news this week, says, well, 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 what I say, I deliver. With helps of his friends, the US versions of the 7R and 8Rs will happen. A massive thanks for STX Farms and the Lucky Farms Madi, who are going to be doing some big work so this can happen. And of course, it is gonna be for all platforms. So talking about, of course, like the John Deere 8Rs, with STX actually helping them. Together, they have come up with an ideal to give that rock box a little bit more of something special. And you will be able to now even put rocks in your rock box, will of course increase the weight of your tractor or to put more weights on it. In addition to the US version, there will also be a Canadian version, an Australian version, and a Brazil version. So it's looking really good and can't wait for these John Deere's to actually hit the mod up. I believe he did do some American ones, I think like the John Deere 9R. Sorry, it was the John Deere 9RX. Okay, let's talk about some John Deere 9Rs though. Guillen FS is making his version of a John Deere 9R. Here it is right here. The John Deere 9R South American series has been finished and sent off for testing. So we could see that very soon. Then along with that, Custom Modding has actually been working on his John Deere 9R since the Steiger has been released. What's new on this one? Let's see, it's gonna have Goodyear custom flow grip and row crop tires, new Firestones, monitors, hood opening, blade, and much more. So if you really want some John Deere's, well, at least some John Deere 9Rs, you're gonna be covered right there. And speaking of John Deere's, we have some more news about some John Deere's. Man, I've seen John Deere's a lot in this video. Well, we have the John Deere Gator 6x4, another mod coming from Sluice Modding that will be hitting all platforms very soon. I think it's pretty much done and it has been sent over to testing. Now, let's talk about some different stuff. Okay, we also got some news broke this week from Agrotono about his next vehicle he's bringing out. Of course, he is the same creator that made the Silverado, the F-350, some amazing trucks. Well, now he's going to be trying to make a car. As you see from this picture right here, I believe this is actually a old Ford Mustang. So it's going to be really interesting to see this actually hit the mod up. And let's see how fast it can actually go. I'm definitely going to be hitting some ramps with this one. Now this week, we also got some news from Legacy AG. He has actually given us an update on what he has been working on. He says he has the shop and bail shed pack out of beta testing and all issues have now been addressed. Those will be submitted to Giants sometime this week. Uh, it's gonna be for, of course, cross-platform testing. The next project to hit will be at another shop. This was brought to us by Random Sparks as a request. This shop is really neat. It has a large shop area, 72 by 104, with multiple points of entry, a dedicated wash bay, a 22 by 72, and an attached office area, which is 30 by 32, that doubles as a partial living space. The shop has just been finished in Blender and has now been moved over to GE to start putting it into mod format. Been noticing actually a lot of sh good shops have been coming out lately from, you know, of course, Legacy AG, Icus, and many more. Okay, let's get into some mapping news. The first one we have is actually from Lancey Boy, some news from him. 
says he feels that it is almost time for a new game, which says something is in the air. He supposes he says he's now happy to say that he's moved forward with this Wisconsin map. He also says he hasn't had much information sent back to himself from his previous area. So he's decided to seek a new location for his American project. He'll be working on his UK map as well and new Wisconsin map. So as promised, he'll be putting 100% in Farming Simulator. Also, the amount of work that he's done on his UK map and the builds for his American projects, all of his work will be tagged. So any re-editing of his work or work being retextured, he'll know it's his. If you want to use any of his assets, please drop him a message. He's never declined anyone. It is so simple. And that, that right there, guys, is the truth. If you are a modder and you want to use anything from Lancy Boy, just give a message. He usually does say yes, because I know Chibalki's used some of his stuff in other mods. It's not really that hard to ask for permission or give them credits actually in your mod. Also, I talked to him a little bit yesterday and he says that he is actually missing doing some American mapping stuff. So I'm pretty sure sooner or later he is going to be back into map mapping at least. Just waiting for, of course, the FS25 tease trailer, which hopefully that is this month. Now let's talk about a map that's going to be getting a huge update pretty soon and that is of course Amal, Missouri. Here it is right here. Here is the first picture of of course one of the inclusions of the updates. It is going to be including actually a working firehouse so you can actually open up the garage doors and use the firehouse. It says what if you can actually use the fire stations building actually. That's gonna be pretty cool right there. It's also supposed to be getting uh, animals on there. You know, the baby animals and all that we see like on Stone Valley and all that. So that's gonna be pretty nice right there. And yes, it will require a new save. So if you have that three, four, 500 hours in it, guess what? You're gonna have to start back over if you update the map. If you don't wanna start over, do not update it whenever this comes out. Me, myself, definitely gonna be updating it even though I have about 400 hours on the map. It's just an amazing map. Then speaking of amazing maps, Lineal Farmer map, of course, here is the, well, kind of like a sky cam footage of actually the Millennial Farmer map, as you guys can see from all those fields right there. These fields are going to be massive. I cannot wait for this. This is an amazing map in FS19. It's going to be amazing in FS22. It says, first view over the map and outer borders of the real 2X Dem. High traffic numbers due to all the stalkers in the area, which is kind of a joke right there. But it looks really good. I can't wait to actually see this in FS22. Along, of course, with Monet Seeds. I know a lot of people were wanting Monet Seeds to actually get past this week. Keep your fingers crossed. Hopefully, this next week it does. It is an amazing map, too. That silo is massive on there. And there you have it right there. There is the wrap-up for this week. It was a pretty good week. I mean, a lot of good news. Plus, also this week, we hit 50,000 followers on the club's Facebook page. That is a massive, massive amount of people following us. Also, we're about 3,500 subs away from hitting that 100,000. So if you're new to the channel, guys, don't forget to hit that sub button and ring that bell. I post videos pretty much every single day on my favorite game, Farming Simulator. Also, don't forget to hit that like button. Well, I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later. Peace. Stumping out of bed and I still got you in my head From all those pretty words you said It's like I'm wasted Every time I see your face I'm losing track of time and space I don't know where I am It's like I'm wasted And I won't waste it And I promise that I